So, uh, I finally uh, arrived in the mail today. My Filson brand uh, double tin uh, pants. Um, I was going to wait to do this video uh, when it was lighter out, but it is now in November and we're in North, North, uh, Pacific Northwest <laughs> and it doesn't seem to get any brighter than this. Uh, and I don't have a setup yet inside uh, where I want to do this, so I'll try to do it here. You'll need to see what I look like anyway. Um, so I bought these pants. Um, I've been looking at these for a long time. I saw someone else comment on them uh, online that has a popular channel. Um, and uh, I saw him wearing these, these pants all the time outside. And uh, now that I'm uh, moved up north here and it's uh, always wet, uh, I wanted a pair of pants that um, that uh, I could wear outside that would uh, hold up. And uh, I'm always kneeling on the ground for some reason or another, picking something up, working on something, and I always wear uh, blue jeans. And uh, by the end of the day or, or whatever, I would... Uh, um, come in and my knees and from my knees down would be soaking wet um, so uh, I wanted something that would I didn't want to put wear a rain pants all the time I wanted something that would be durable that I could constantly use so um, I looked up the tin pants uh, they're about two hundred and ten dollars I think two hundred and ten or one hundred and seventy five okay two ten I should look that up. I'll make a note here at the bottom of the camera to or the bottom of the uh, screen on what the price was that I paid. Um, I forget it was a while ago. Well, it wasn't that long ago. Um, anyway, <laughs> I forget. So anyway, I ordered these pants. Um, uh, I live uh, near Seattle, Washington, and Filson, the the main company, is uh, uh, their main uh, offices are in Seattle. So it really only took about three days for me to get these pants uh, custom. Uh, uh, well, I don't know custom. They probably have a bunch of sizes already, but I had the bottoms hemmed with a leather trim. Um, so, uh, so, uh, so I'm hoping that these work out for me. So, uh, in this first uh, this first review on it, um, I'll uh, just review what the pants are and how they fit. And uh, after I've worn them in for a little bit, I'll come back and edit this video and post to the end of it uh, on how I like them and, and uh, how they seem to work. So, uh, so right here's the box. Let's uh, let's open it up and take a look and see what we see what we got. All right. Oh, look at that. Filson. Wow, it's a nice little card. And the card is... Oh, here's uh, my receipt. Uh, and... Uh, let's see if the price is in here. Price is... And they don't say on this. So... I'll post that in the bottom, but it's a cool little card. A little bit of quality there, uh, just in the card alone. Uh, it's like here's uh, oil finish wax. I know these pants are like a canvas, and they're coated with a uh, with a uh, like a wax that keeps it waterproof or semi waterproof. Uh, and Probably if just like if you've ever had shoes that you uh, waterproof, you probably take this and rub all over the uh, pants to uh, to help seal them every once in a while when they start to lose their uh, waterproof uh, capabilities. So hopefully the lighting is good enough. Oh, look at that! Nice. Nope. Oh, here's the price. $215. That is a lot of money to spend on a pair of pants. Um, but they should last me a lot longer than any of my other pants that, uh, that, I, that I wear. Nice wide... Uh, are those the back pockets? Yeah, these are the back pockets. 
They don't have a button or anything on the back of them, but I never button them up anyway. So it uh, looks like the flap goes down. So if it's raining or whatever, keep uh, from whatever you have in your pocket from getting wet. All right, so it's a different day. Uh, the video that I was vid uh, videoing ended up being corrupt. So uh, I'm gonna do this over again. So uh, the uh, Filson uh, double tin pants, uh, this set has a button fly on it. It's weird because another video that I saw had a zip a zipper fly. Um, I, I'm not sure which I would l prefer better. Um, one thing is, is man, I'd always hate to have the zipper fail on you to have all the, these pants to spend this much money on a pair of pants and the zipper fail. So they, I think these are less likely for them to, to fail on you to have these. They also have the buttons here for the um, suspenders. Um, and uh, you know what, I, I went uh, online to Filson and I was gonna buy their, uh, their suspenders, but dang, they wanted $75 for their suspenders. And I just, you know, as much as I wanted to keep within the Filson brand on what I was doing here, I just couldn't. I couldn't swallow uh, spending $75 on a pair of uh, suspenders. I'm n I never wore suspenders before, so I'm not sure, you know, is that the normal price for suspenders? I, I don't know. So I went on Amazon and I looked and uh, I found a pair of uh, suspenders for $20, $20 I think it was. Um, so we'll, we'll try these out and see how these work and I'll kind of give a review on these. But uh, these ones, you know, have the, um, the clips on it that clip onto the buttons. Uh, some of the suspenders have, um, well, I guess they're clips that clip onto the side um, on basically any pants that you want. So I got the type that works with the Filson pants. So we'll, we'll see how those work. Um, the bottom of these pants, um, I paid uh, extra. It wasn't that much. I think, uh, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was like $10 or something to have the bottoms hemmed. Um, because if you're walking around and and they're wearing, I figured that this would uh, make them last a little bit longer uh, from, from wear uh, on this material. Um, and uh, I think uh, that's pretty, pretty, much, pretty much it. It's got a double, double thickness. I don't know if you can see through these pants or not, but you can see the, with the sun, Yeah, there you go. You can see over here uh, where they have the double layer. So up at the top area, they don't have quite so du doubled up. I think probably because you don't want this area where you're trying to fasten it around your uh, your waist to be so thick. Um, but they start doubling it up down here, and it's a double the double the thickness. Um, so that's pretty that's pretty neat that you can actually see that. Um, but uh, they're really heavy duty. Um, let's. Uh, Let's try them on. Oh, I also, uh, because they're so cold in the wintertime, um, I got a pair of long johns. I don't want to wear two layers of pants like blue jeans underneath these. So I got a pair of long johns and I'm going to put on underneath there to help uh, insulate this cold material against my legs. Um, they also say in the summertime, um, these get really hot. So I'm, I'm sure they do, especially with the double layer. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how it works. So let me try them on and see how they fit. Uh, the length is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this because this was a couple days ago when I started this video. Um, but uh, my, my pants I normally will wear are 32, um, 34. Um, but uh, the chart on the Filson website said uh, to measure from the inseam which is from your crotch down. So I took a pair of jeans and I measured from the crotch all the way down to the hem down there. And uh, it measured out at 32 for the length. I'm thinking, man, I don't wanna get these to be too short. But I ended up ordering 32 by 32 and they fit absolutely perfect. Uh, the length couldn't be, uh, couldn't be any better. Um, and the waist is, is perfect. You know, there's, there's, it's, still, it's still loose, you know. I could reach my hand down in there if there's an emergency. <laughs> um, and then I put these uh, $20 suspenders on uh, instead of, uh, unfortunately, the Filson brand. Um, and they button on, you know, right here. So it's the first time I've worn suspenders. So that's, uh, that's kind of neat. Uh, kind of helps keep them up and I don't have to keep pulling my pants up all the time. But yet they're still loose enough that 
when I bend down, um, you know, it's not cutting into my uh, cutting into my gut there. So uh, um, put my knife here, strapped into the side. This will probably wear a little bit here by constantly clipping this. It would be nice if they had a, a little pocket, you know. Oh, look, <laughs> they do. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they, they got a little pocket on this side for a knife. The only problem is, is when I bend over, it's kind of right, right there where it jabs into you. Um, but uh, anyway, that's probably safer there because if I had it over here, I could imagine as I'm walking through the woods or something, maybe catching on, on that. So we'll try it here and see if, uh, if that bothers me. But it's nice and tucked away there. It's a nice little add, nice little additional bonus that I found there. Uh, the backs, uh, you know, have the buttonless uh, back pockets that the flaps cover to help keep the water and rain out. Um, it's a decent length um, back there. The pockets, you know, the pockets come down to about here, so that's pretty good. So if you put stuff in there, you don't have to worry about it falling out. Um, and uh, the button fly, because these are new, it, this top button here, because it's, it's the double layer up here, um, it, uh, it, it was a little difficult getting this top button buttoned up. But uh, I think I'm ready to go. Give these a try. Got my long johns on. Um, and uh, I'll uh, probably add to this video uh, after I've worn these in a little bit and seen, uh, seen how they work.